how do you small at the structure to, to address these challenges? Because cotton is a big commodity. When we are talking with the brands, when we are talking with the supply chain, it needs a lot of money, a lot of management for certification and the trade as well. So how your FPOs, can you share some success stories or some examples and how you are coming out with the solutions of this problem? Sure, I would be glad to. Uh, uh, thanks you for this question, Amita. See, the power of aggregation, the power of unity. When you buy for one farmer, you buy one kg of seed. When you buy for 1,000 farmers, you buy 1,000 kg. When you buy for 10,000 farmers, you buy 10,000 kg of seed. Look at the negotiation power you have. That is where you save. So first we focus on saving. When we formed this federation of farmers, the first thing that we did was save on input cost. Do not reduce the inputs, but save on input cost. Then you have the power of negotiation plus you save something. Then comes sales, the marketing part. You sell 1 kg in an APMC, you sell 10 kg, you sell 10 quintals, 100 quintals, you have no voice. But you sell 10,000 quintals in APMC, you need not go to the APMC. Buyers will come to you. When you publicize, so there we get something more than, than the market price. We pre-create the cotton at farmers' premises and share the reports with the buyers. This, are, this is the reports we have. May it be conventional or may it be organic. And then the buyers are more keen to buy, they pay something extra. So one thing is where we save, second thing is where we earn. This saved and earned kitty is used in the certification process. Then we have implementing uh, programs. We do not run all our programs on our own. We do also implementation for certain brands and certain companies. That is where also the income comes. And this is distributed among the farming community with uh, strengthens their uh, financial status and even FPOs, you know, earn out of this. Every FPO gets some uh, percentage of the income that uh, we get out of this whole system. And one more innovation that I would like to share is uh, in marketing. What innovations we do in marketing as a... Because marketing, without marketing, the cycle is not complete. The jacket that I'm wearing right now and the jacket that uh, the lady sitting there is wearing right now is natural colored cotton. That is not an uh, ounce of water or uh, dye used to manufacture this. This cotton, cotton is grown naturally. We have not grown it initially. It is the Indian uh, Research Institute which has grown, incubated by an Indian industry. But nobody was marketing that. We took that opportunity. We, uh, she has designed, she is the chairperson of our FPO Federation. She has designed jackets and India's who's who are currently wearing. MD of India's biggest bank is wearing this jacket. The CEO and MD of India's biggest exchange is wearing this jacket. And people are proudly flaunting it. So this has some of the case studies on experiment. Wonderful. We will have one last question. Three questions? Three.